Hey guys, so today I will be making my first YouTube tutorial video. I'm actually really excited because I get to help out some of the beginner graphic designers or just artists in general. So today, I will be taking these four images and yeah. making this image right here. Tell me what you're looking so, for. without further ado. Nigga, tell me how you feel when you see me get in love while you pray for my demise. And slap the hate from out your eyes, nigga, chill. Should be way too real. Yeah. Okay, so... The four images we're going to be working with today is some little simple images that I pulled from the internet. We have our island, we have our green dragon, we have Stewie, and we have our red dragon. So, so we can get started first, the first thing I did was you want to use your I like the selection tool. Some people use the magic or the object tool. I prefer to go with the quick selection. I already cut these out, but I'll give you guys an example. It's usually easier to go from the whites. Ah, sorry. Let me back up. Let me click Stewie first. What you want to do is click your click your selection. And then pretty much you can pretty much go around him if you want. Pretty much to mask him. Make sure that you click invert. Where is it? Invert selection. Select inverse. Because I clicked the outside, but now we're gonna click Stewie. And what that does is that isolates him from the background boom separates it but since i already cut it out i'm not going to go through that i just wanted to show you guys so we're going to click our command d to deselect that so what we're going to do now is we're going to get rid of all of these and bring in our ps5 case which i will drop this in the description so we're going to scroll down and bring up our case our shadows our inner shadows our background okay let me scroll out make sure that you're using option on a mac to scroll out and i think that works for for uh, windows as well so since we already have our background what you want to do is you click you click your selection and you click your background and make sure you're clicking the option button and you'll see this little cross in between the arrow down that will pretty much mesh it inside so what you do is you want to go ahead and open that up Bam, so we have that one. I'm gonna go ahead and turn these. Bam, bam, bam. So what I did was I wanted to give the characters a little bit of a realistic thing. So basically you can go in ahead and double tap this. You wanna to go to bevel and boss. I chose the, uh, the inner bevel because it, it, it accentuates the character more. So you come in here inner bevel I chose 115 because it gave it let me scroll out it gives it a little bit more depth as you can see can you see so it just gives it that effect but since I already did it I'm gonna leave it there so since we have our layers there we're gonna scroll up to the top and to make it more realistic I added the rated E effect instead of using a brand name I just use mine's um, and I chose to use the font from the actual family guy. Boom, just like that. And then you want to add your subtitle. So I'm going to come over here. Again, I just drew another simple uh, rectangle tool to, to put our subtitle in here. And then I named it Dragon Island. So, you know, something very youthful, something, you know, kiddish, nothing too simple. And then you come down here and then you use your your lighting on the side right here to give it that actual texture i'll turn it on and off so you can see one more time and then what i did was i kind of wanted the background to be just slightly darker so i came to the rectangle tool and you just kind of drag it over your background right here it doesn't matter if you stay in the lines because you're going to clip it anyway i ended up coming to my color swaps made it black um, but I already have one, so I'm going to delete this. I just want to show you. So I came, let me go to my layers, came in here, scroll down. Here's my rectangle, and boom. So then we want to come to the blending modes. I chose soft light just because it was, I don't know, I just felt like it, it meshed better with that. But then I, I turned the opacity down. See, because if it's too dark, so then you. I brought it down to 80 and then let me show you guys one more thing just so you can see I'm gonna scroll in some 
when it comes to your bevel embosses you can you can play with it how you want it i personally just chose um the settings that i had because if it, it, it worked with the vectors that i have but i'll turn these on and off there's the green dragon just so you can see just it makes it look a little bit more cartoonish and we'll come to the red dragon and then yeah so that's pretty much it i wanted to keep it really simple for my first tutorial these are going to get more complex as we go but if you have any questions please comment like subscribe let me know i can slow it down if i'm going too fast or i can speed it up for the ones who already get it but that is our video game cover thank you yeah.